this dynam uh, really uh, looks nice. The foam on the wings is this very strong foam, not like the foam on uh, the other ones. The servos are already installed. There's a brace all the way across it, carbon fiber. It looks very nice. It came with two propellers, the landing gear. It's about 95% finished. It came with a 1250 LiPo battery and I'm checking the voltages right now and all three cells are balanced at 385. I'm going to put it on a charger. It came with a, a balanced charger, air-cooled, and a power supply, 1.5 amp power supply to run it, so that's pretty good. Instruction manual, the uh, small bit of hardware, even the glue to glue the tail and Of on. course the fuselage looks really, really nice. It's got a canopy with a pilot inside. Detail work is nice. Uh, the speed controller is already installed. Uh, wires, this looks like this is going to make a, a good night flyer. Too. Outrunner, 400 motor. Uh, it's on FM, but I'm going to tell you the radio it came with is... Uh, much higher quality than what we're used to seeing. Very, very nice. Uh, smooth sticks, nice finish, very good agronomics, nice place to hold it. You know, this plane looks so good. I, I'm sure this is going to fly well. I've decided in anticipation to go ahead and wire the wing with my 30 AWG wires and I'm going to put on my uh, 60 LED after dark lights so this should make a really great night flyer. Now I know you can buy the extensions to use on their lights but uh, hobby store is not too close extensions and everything are uh, pretty long so I'm going to go ahead and and wire them solid again with these wires and uh, this is all going to get covered up with the decals anyway It's nice and smooth, very good, very linear. Very nice strong turbo, fast too. They center nicely. Nice. Now I'm going to use their glue to glue these uh, pieces together. Uh, they've got snap links. These things push together and you don't even have to screw them. This is a nice setup. They're going to put a little of this glue. They call this epoxy glue they gave us. This is not epoxy glue, but I'm going to use it here and see what happens. wiring stuff in I decided to put this white LED in standard LED I use a hundred ohm resistor on it
Okay, folks. Maiden flight here of the extra 330. Got this from Nitro Planes. Looks like a nice plane. Got ailerons, elevator, rudder with an outrunner, brushless motor. Let's see how it does. Kind of breezy. sensitive uh, on the bridge of a stall I think because it's tail heavy but uh, we'll put some weight in and see what happens okay I've hooked up the lights I have put uh, my servo wheels glued them in with electric so that that's not going to get bashed up ran the wires along the strut here same thing on this side and of course tail light. Want to see what they look like? Let's turn it on. Almost down the ditch. <laughs> right. That sounds cool. It flies cool. I like that. Okay. Wait for dark. Dave has some runway lights going on now. 
right on the shoulder of the road, there's a yellow one, go up the road a little bit, there's a green one, and up a little further, there's a red one. I know you all are going to ask me if this plane hovers, this is the extra 330, it does, I didn't build it for that, I have helicopters to do that, this is just for night flying and fun. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> nice flyby. Inverted. Back over. <laughs> this is so awesome for Iowa. There's like no wind. You can take off or land either direction. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna drop it in. I was just thinking that. <laughs> there you go, Nitroplane's new 330.